For in Jesus' name we pray. If you're happy to be in this breakthrough service, shout a louder hallelujah. Amen. It's time for testimony. So please, if you have a testimony of what God has done for you in any of our programs that you have not shared, it's time to share it to the glory of God. While we pray, you have a testimony, please make your way to the altar and get your testimony shared. Let's be all standing. Let's be all standing. Say any power. Say any power. Attacking my testimonies. Your end has come. Da 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 da. Yes. Any power. Attacking my testimonies. Wherever you are. Wherever you are. Da 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 for in jesus name we pray please have a seat if you have a testimony come forward praise the lord church praise the living god I'm here to appreciate God for what God has done in my life during this program. It was, we came in, I, I, I came in here with my children on Wednesday. So on Saturday, on Saturday after the purging, I went to the toilet. My, stom my stomach started, you know, disturbing me. So I ran to the toilet. It was there that I collapsed. I did not know when I just could. I was just leaning on the toilet like this. I stayed there. I said, God, what is wrong with me? And I finally, God gave, regained my health. I mean, my strength small. And I came out of the, from the toilet. It was since that particular moment. Till this morning, I couldn't get up from where I was lying down. I couldn't get up. I want to thank God. Because pastor stood here and said something. That hey, if your pastor tell you anything, do not hesitate. Listen. That yesterday, when you were about to go, rain started falling. Rain started falling very seriously, and I stay here. I said, okay, let me just say hi to pastor's wife. When I went there, she just come and said, Felicia, don't go. Don't go. Look at the rain. And I, not even if this rain stop, I won't, I won't want you to go. I even play with her and say, ah, mama, what will I eat? Because the money that I have now is for us to travel back to Aquaibo. She just handed money over to me. I said, go ahead with this one. I never knew that it was the purpose of God for God to deliver me from untimely death. It was this morning when pastors were praying for one young girl here. And I, I couldn't, in fact, all over this, all this place, it was arrow, chuk, 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 chuk. I couldn't get there. I couldn't do anything. Even for trial, I said I did not eat. Because I just lost my appetite completely. So I then told my son, Tony, come and sit down here and pray for me. Tony, when Tony started praying, I, he started manifesting there. He started manifesting there. While pastors were here, praying for one young girl. At a point, pastor went to him. And the boy started manifesting here. That it is my husband, younger brother, that sent the arrow of death. So that I will not come back. Even what he said as supreme, that it was pastor's wife that made me to stay back. I want to give glory to God. Anything that happened, the Bible says we should always thank God. Since I started coming to this commission, rain has never fought like that day. But immediately we share grace. Rain started falling. It was just an arrangement of God for God to deliver me from that untimely death. I just thank God for what he has done. I want to return all the glory unto him in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Your testimony is permanent in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. My name is Joy. I want to thank God for what God did for me. This testimony is since COVID. During the COVID, in my revelation, I was going for evangelism. So when I get to one place, I saw three birds, big giant birds standing on the eye tension. So I was looking at them. I said, this bird, this eye tension, not even born on a day that they look me. So I passed. When I was, I was about to cross where they are, they now shit on my body. So I was cleaning it. One woman I told me that it's frying a car. I said, uh, that bed is much crap. It's a human being. 
come and use this water to clean it. If not, cancer will cut your breast off. I said, Mama, thank you. So I was cleaning it with blood or juice. I went. So since that, I started having inches in my right breast. The last year, April, I came for the river. Nonsense must stop. After we close, I get back to Port Harcourt. In my dream, I enter inside one estate. When some men saw me as I was coming, they said, look at her wound. She's coming home. She's coming. They started running away. As those men was running, I turned back. I said, why are these people running away from me? How did I look like? So the, the next thing, those things started flying out of my body. Like this thing that perch on the flower, like um, they have long leg. Thousands was coming out of my body. I was shouting. I said, God, why did you disgrace me here? These people will be looking at me. I just want to thank God. Praise thy Lord. My second testimony is after the deliverance yesterday. So my sister phoned. He told me that my friend number called oh, Miss Cross. Okay, call him back now. So when he called, he now told me that I should go and check my account that his wife sent me money. I want to thank God for the blessing in Jesus' name. Your testimony is permanent in Jesus' name. Church, praise Allah. Hallelujah. I want to share my dream. On, on Saturday, through Sunday, I lay down for church. I see a bunch of key. Inside altar, plenty key. I see daddy with angel. They pack the key and give him people. I can ask for that dream. Say, what is the money of this key? Say, that the key of people go buy moto. From now to January, a lot of people go buy moto. A lot of people go enter the new house. See, some people build house, but they cannot finish it. So through this key, now door don't open in the name of Jesus. So using this morning, I can't dream. I can't see children receive deliverance. I can't see a lot of mothers and giving testimony for the life of children. Because I see the children, the brain, they do. But as daddy pray for them, the brain is open. I see a lot of initiate come for children's body. I see now here, I may God honor us in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Well, beloved, that's the end of our testimony. For all that the Lord has done for us this morning, let's be on our feet and return all the glory, all the thanks, all the praise unto him with three powerful shouts of hallelujah. You pray like this. Say powers. Say powers. Attacking the works of my hand. You are a liar. Powers attacking the works of my hand. You are a liar. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Open your mouth and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Thank the Lord for giving you the privilege to see another day. Thank him. Thank him. Thank you. Thank you. Open your mouth and say something to the Lord. Open your mouth and say something to the Lord. Thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. 
Thank you, God. your both hands to the heavens. Just worship him. Let your mind, your spirit, your soul be here. Be present in his presence. Be present in his presence. Give him all the glory from within you. Say thank you to the King of Kings from within inside of you.
Build this temple with your presence. Holy oh, Spirit, Holy oh, Spirit, you are welcome. Build this temple. sit down. Say, powers! I want you to pray very, very well. Say, powers! Assigned to capture my week. Da! We'll take it like this. Say, powers! Assigned to capture the glory of my week. Da! 
In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Powers are signed to capture the glory of my week. Da, 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 da. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Turn to your friends. Say, this week, you shall not miss the vehicle of your greatness. <laughs> you know, opportunities or doors of greatness comes in a flash. Sometimes you might not even notice it. But the Holy Spirit will empower you to see it this week. I said the Holy Spirit will empower you to see it this week. Say this week. If your friend is not praying for you, if your voice is actually louder than your friend's voice, look for another person. You need to upgrade. Enough is enough. Say this week. You shall not miss the vehicle of your greatness. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and prophesy for your friend. Prophesy to your friend. You shall not miss the vehicle of your greatness. Yes, open your mouth and say it. Open your mouth and say it. He's the Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Living God. He's the Holy Ghost. Scepter of the King of Kings is the Holy Ghost, Spirit of the age to come, is working everything in obedience to Christ, is changing everything in obedience to Christ. He's the Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Living God. He's the Holy Ghost, Scepter of the King of Kings. He's the Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Age to Come. It's changing everything. In obedience to Christ, working everything. In obedience to Christ, transforming everything. In obedience to Christ, swallow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the Spirit. Don't you know in his hands are the keys to eternal life? He's a little there, a little there until the day be done. He's at work in you, changing everything in obedience to Christ, changing everything. In obedience to Christ. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Say to your friend. Whether your enemy like it or not. I want you to pray like the offspring of the lion of Judah. Say whether your enemy likes it or not. This week. You must make progress. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Magada lagada. Libra go yade salabus. You must make progress. You must make progress. Transforming everything in obedience to Changing everything in obedience to Everything in obedience to 
In Jesus mighty name we pray. You say to yourself, whether my enemies like it or not, I shall make progress. You are prophesying to yourself because this week the spirit of the Lord will change everything in obedience to Christ in your life. And whatever has been resisting your moving forward shall die! I said they shall die. I said they shall die. Said this week, whether my enemies like it or not, I shall make progress in the name of Jesus. Say to yourself, Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you for bringing us to your presence once more. Lord, even as we listen to your word, open the eyes of understanding and let your word sink down into our hearts. Give us an understanding mind in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father, for in Jesus' wonderful name we pray. People of God, put your hands together for the Almighty God. Sit down. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth will hear. Open to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 16. Quickly. 1 Corinthians chapter 16. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth will hear. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth will hear because my altar is calling you oh god my altar is calling you oh god break forth from within me and the earth will hear Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth will hear. My altar is calling you. Oh, God, my altar is calling you. Oh, God. First Corinthians 16, verses 9, I read. Say, for a great door and effectual is open unto me. There are many adversaries. A great door and effectual one at that matter is opened unto me. But the problem is there are many adversaries. As a matter of necessity, I will put it to you this morning that the first door that God has opened to you this week is the door 
or the privilege of seeing a new day. Because you are alive today, you have the privilege of doing something that you did yesterday in a wrong way, but try to do it in the right way today. Am I speaking to somebody? You tried something yesterday, you failed at it. But today you have the opportunity to do it in a different way. So you can make progress. I pray the spirit of God will empower you to make progress. In the name of Jesus. What does door stand for? It stands for opportunity. It stands for privilege. It stands for entrance, access. So God is telling you this morning that he has given you another door, another opportunity, another access to make progress. It stands for opportunity. It stands for the chance of doing things over again. But one thing is certain. In every door, there is an adversary. What does adversary simply mean? It means something to contend with. It means challenges. Something you contend with. Was it not Paul that said contend for the faith? Something you must contend with. Praise the name of the Lord. And as such, as you go into this week, I pray, the almighty God will give you power to overcome your challenges. If you believe it, let your amen be dynamic. If you believe it, let your amen come with fire. As you go into this week, you will not be afraid of challenges. I say, if you believe it, let your amen come with fire. This morning, I am talking about doors and adversaries. Briefly. Facts about it. There is no opportunity without challenges. There is no opportunity without challenges. Even if your father is the king, from childhood, you must learn how to become king. You must learn how to live like royals. And it's also a challenge. Why? Because you will not do the things that your heart are set on doing. But you will do those things that befit your status. It's a challenge. There is no opportunity. There is no door without adversaries. But I pray, the God of heaven, give you the power to conquer your adversaries in the name of Jesus. Number two, the challenges presented to us by our doors differs from one person to another. As our destinies are different, so our challenges are different. The challenges someone who wants to go into production would face is not the same challenge that someone who wants to become an employee would face. An entrepreneur would have to seek for money, he has to seek for support, and people that are willing to invest in his dreams. But those who want to be employed just have to make up their CVs and go and submit it and pray that something should just happen for them. The challenges are different. So you must not look at your neighbor and say, this person is going through a, a minor challenge than myself. Our perspectives about lives are different. As you go through this week, I want you to put this at the back of your mind. Your challenges are peculiar to your own special specification. You are special and unique. The Bible says, in the image of God made he male and female. And because you are special and unique, your own challenges are unique. Praise the name of the Lord. What Abraham faced was not what Isaac faced. Abraham faced the challenge because God said, 
I'm going to make you father of many nations. He faced the challenge of sacrificing his, his only what legitimate son. Did Isaac face that? No. For you to become great according to your dreams and visions, your challenges differ from one person to another. Somebody might be aspiring to be a school teacher and you are aspiring to be one owner of a motor factory, a vehicle factory. You won't face the same challenges. God will give you the power to surmount your challenges in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Every opportunity or open door before us is an opportunity for us to, to leave our mark and to learn new things. It's an opportunity for us to leave our marks on the sands of time and for us to learn new things. The next one. Every open door or every challenge is an opportunity for you to make progress. Once you see challenges coming your way, you put it at the back of your mind. You say, this is an opportunity. As you go into this week, whether it's somebody that is opposing you in the office, is an opportunity for you to make Jesus known. You are a member of the Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. And in this church, we're known for praying. It is an opportunity for you to exercise the power of prayer. It is an opportunity for you to tell that fellow about Jesus. It is an opportunity for you to stand out. Take, for example, David. In the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 17, verses 26. He was going to give his brothers food at the battlefield. When he got there, he saw what was happening. All these men of war ran back. They were afraid of Goliath, the champion of the Philistines. And what did David do? He saw an opportunity where they were seeing adversaries. I pray the Lord will open your eyes this week. I say, I pray the Lord will open your eyes this week. Where others see adversaries, you will see opportunities. Where others see challenges, you will see pathway to greatness. In the name of Jesus. What did David do? He inquired of the men that were around there. He said, come on, please, 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 please. What did you see that the king would do to the man that would bring down this mountain? Say, okay, the king will do this, the king will do this. I've killed a lion before. Nobody recommended me. Nobody gave me something. Nobody gave me one bottle of juice when I killed the lion. The lion was simply coming to snatch away my father's lamb. And I killed it. I killed the bear with my bare hands. Ah! These Philistines are granots. I pray the Lord will give you the strength and the sight to see your enemies like nothing before you in the name of Jesus. I pray all your enemies shall be as nothing before you this week in the name of Jesus. Where they were seeing challenges, David saw opportunity. And what happened? He made haste. He went to meet the king. When they were trying to shut him down, his brothers were saying this, saying that. He went behind and went to see the king. The king said, eh, okay, you can do it. As a matter of fact, they thought he was dead. But who, in their wildest imagination, would ever believe that one stone, stone, will bring down Goliath? That is what God can do behind your faith. The faith to confront your challenges. God give it to you this week. Let your amen be dynamic. I said, God give it to you this week. Peter saw Jesus walking on the sea. And he said, Master, if it is you, bid me to come. He said, it is me. Come. Peter stepped out of the boat. He stepped out of the boat. The moment he took his eyes off Jesus, he began to sink. This week, you shall not take your eyes off Jesus. I said, this week, you shall not take your eyes off Jesus. This week, you shall not take your eyes off Jesus. 
Let's rise to our feet. And I want you to take these two points. It is an error for you to be intimidated by the challenges presented by your opportunities. It is an error. And you will not be intimidated this week in Jesus' name. I say you will not be intimidated this week in Jesus' name. You close your eyes and you fire like this. Say powers. Shout it louder. Say powers. To conquer my challenges. Fall upon me. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Say powers to conquer my challenges this week. Fall upon me. 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 Powers to conquer my challenges this week. Fall upon me. Fall upon me. Open your mouth and pray. Powers to conquer my challenges this week. Fall upon me. Fall upon me. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please let's begin our offering. Let's begin our offering. Father, bless this offering in the mighty name of Jesus. This week, whatsoever you lay on upon it shall prosper. Money will meet money in your hands. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's drop it. Have you collected it? So where are the ushers? Let's not forget our Bible study. Tomorrow, 4.30. Wednesday, Mana Water, four thirty. Come with a bottle of water. Then on Thursday, on Friday, we we'll have. I must marry by fire. Amen. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Or just let's do very fast. Please sit down. Let's call it off. Thank you for fighting my battle for me, Jehovah Olubija. Thank you for fighting my battle for me, Jehovah Olubija. Thank you for fighting my battle for me, Jehovah Olubija. Thank you for fighting my battle for me, Jehovah. Thank you. Fighting my battle. Jehovah, thank you. Fighting my battle for me. Jehovah, thank you. Fighting my battle for me. Jehovah, thank you. 
heavens for me. For me, Jehovah, oh no, we just turn. Are we true? Fighting my buttons for me, Jehovah, oh no, we just thank you. Fighting my buttons for me, Jehovah, oh no, we just thank you for fighting my buttons for me, Jehovah, oh no, we just. Thank you, Jesus. I pray for you. Any power that want to frustrate you this week, that power shall die. You will hear good news. In the name of Jesus. This week, things will never be difficult for you. Your oil, pick your oil. Put your oil right hand. Do do do. Okay, ne do. Okay, ne do. Kiri do 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 do. Okay, ne do. Kiri do 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 la da do 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 do. Okay, ne do. Okay, ne do. Kiri do 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 la da do do do. Okay, ne do. Okay, ne do. Okay, ne do. Okay, ne do. Kiri do 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 lauda do 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 do. Okay, ne do. Okay, ne do. Okay, ne do. Okay, ne do. Even an end I do it. Even an angels bow before you. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. Even an end I do it. Even an angels bow before you. You are beautiful. You are beautiful, Kiri do 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 lauda do 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 do. Okay na do, okay na do, okay na do, okay na do. Kiri do 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 lauda do do do. As I pray for you, you are not and you scream fire. Father, I pray every spirit of toiling, struggling, walking like an elephant and eating like an ant. Power that does not allow good things to last in your end. As this all come upon you, that yoke is broken in the name of Jesus. Father! Lay your hand there. Father, every anti fever spirit. Your word says it shall come to pass on that, and the body shall lift up their shoulder, the yoke over the neck. And you shall be destroyed because of anointing. I decree every yoke of toiling, yoke of struggle, break over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Enter into your greatness in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, to you be all the glory. Pick your paper now.
pick that your working implement, your ID card, lift it up. Hold it with that hand. Listen, I saw where documents were released, papers were released, employment letter were released, contract paper were released. I saw it this morning. You will come back and testify. If there are anything you have been struggling, you want to get favor, you find favor this week. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now scream embargo. Pray. Listen, they will call you that they have approved it. They will call you, come and do like this. God bless you. Now say embargo. Pray. Shout it three other times. Aha. Uh -huh. Wow. Yes. Number two. Louder. Number three. I pray any embargo upon your working implement. This morning, that embargo is broken in the name of Jesus. Any altar working against your progress, your business, I command it to catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. This week, you will not walk into disaster. You will not walk into calamity. The Lord will favor you. Prosper the works of your hands. Open new doors for you. Amen. Amen. Anybody that is saying no to it, let them die in the mighty name of Jesus. You will hear good news. I say you will hear good news. 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 Begin to thank God. It's done. Begin to thank God. Just thank Him. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let's share the grace. Surely. One victorious hallelujah.